。未来就是说，大家每个人都出门了，好了，我把目的地设好了，上去按个按钮走，到了，完事了，就是这就是未来要要的样一个场景。就那这样的话，这个世界是不是会有变化 ？Without a doubt, the two dominant companies in the urban air mobility industry. Ehang and Volocopter compete to bring the 3D air taxi system to reality and capture a multiple billion dollar market opportunity. A market where the key to success points to Asia. Uh, EAS and FAA historically have led the, the, the way in terms of introducing new types of technologies, but clearly here the huge market opportunity lies you know, in the mega cities in Asia. And that's why we have a very strong focus in Asia. We make sure that the regulators you know, on the ground familiarize themselves with our technology. In this video, I will compare the two leading companies in the urban air mobility industry, their aircraft, product solutions, and valuations, with the goal to understand which one is best fit to dominate the upcoming air mobility revolution. The reason I am comparing these two companies in the first place is that I believe they are direct contenders. Their main aircrafts are meant to serve very similar markets. I have seen many people comparing them to Joby Aviation, Lilium, and other EVTOL companies, which is incorrect. I think it is important to make a distinction here. Advanced Air Mobility AAM, is a new concept of air transportation using electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft to move people and cargo between places not currently or easily served by surface transportation or existing aviation nodes. Urban Air Mobility UAM, envisions to transport passengers or cargo at lower altitudes within urban and suburban areas, typically seeks to connect points within a city over distances shorter than 20 kilometers. Regional Air Mobility R AM, seeks to connect inner towns and cities across ranges of between 40 and 300 kilometers. It is now possible to classify every EVTOL aircraft according to its specifications. Multicopters, Ehang and Volocopter main products, are a very efficient architecture for takeoff and landing, but inefficient for cruise flight. Therefore they serve the urban air mobility market. On the other hand, lift and cruise, tilting rotor, and ducted fans architecture belong to the regional air mobility market. These type of aircraft have wings for a more efficient cruise flight. If you want to learn more about the different types of EVTOL architectures, you can watch this video by clicking the link in the top right corner. Aircraft The Eang 216 is a 16 rotors 2 passengers aircraft, capable of transport a maximum payload of 220 kg with a range of 35 km. Eang 216 maximum speed is 130 km per hour. The price is $336,000. Volocopter's Volo City is an 18 rotors 2 passengers aircraft, capable of transport a maximum payload of 200 kg with a range of 35 km. Volo City maximum speed is 110 km per hour. The price is unknown but considered to be over $250,000. Both aircraft have autonomous capabilities. We can see that the Ehang 216 has slightly better specifications but the Volo City has a more passenger-friendly design. Cargo Solution With the Volo Drone, we're introducing a new unmanned product based on our original platform and expanding our leading position in sustainable and fully electric VTOLs to a host of new applications. Volocopter's Volodrone is an unmanned, fully electric utility drone capable of carrying a payload of 200 kilograms, with a range of up to 40 kilometers. Some of its applications are logistics, infrastructure, public services, and agriculture and forestry. Today the Volodrone is already in active tests with D.B. Schenker, Volocopter's partner. On the other hand, Ehang has a whole range of products tailored to logistic services, starting with the Ehang 216 Logistics. Thanks to the development of autonomous aerial technology, logistics is becoming automated and green. The Ehang 216L we are launching today is born for modern air logistics that requires more convenience, safety, and sustainability. It boasts a payload of 200 kg fit for short to medium-haul air logistics in both urban and rural areas. 
a drone with a maximum payload of 250 kilograms and a range of 35 kilometers, followed by Falcon B and GD 2.0X for smaller payload deliveries. This Ehang division has been working with DHL to bring a fully automated smart drone delivery solution. Regional Air Mobility Both companies have stated their desire to build an aircraft capable of traveling long distances and capture some of the regional air mobility market. Volocopter presented Volo Connect, a four-passenger, lift and cruise design, with a range of 100 km and a maximum speed of 250 km per hour. In May, Eang presented the VT-30, a fully autonomous two-passengers aircraft with a range of 300 kilometers. You can find more on the VT-30 design in this video by clicking the link in the top right corner. It is important to mention that, although we haven't seen any video, the Eang VT-30 is a working prototype, whereas Volocopter's Volo Connect is in the development stage. Operations Management System Ehang Command and Control Center is equipped with a set of intuitive autonomous aerial vehicle command and control systems that provides the five core functions of monitoring, dispatching, controlling, early warning and cluster management. Volo IQ, the brain behind Volocopter ecosystem, controls everything from Volo City Air taxis to Volo ports, the app, and the local weather conditions. Valuations Volocopter estimated valuation is $624 million. Right now, is not possible to invest in Volocopter through any public investment instrument. Ehang, Nasdaq listed, EH, is a publicly traded company with a current market capitalization of $1.7 billion. Ehang is almost three times as big as Volocopter in terms of valuations. Conclusion I believe that Ehang and Volocopter will be clear leaders in the urban air mobility market. Their aircraft, the 216 and Volo City, with very similar specifications, have been tested for many years and they are coming closer to pass certification. In terms of regional air mobility, I think both companies are lagging behind competitors. Ehang with a questionable design on the VT-30, and Volocopter with the development of Volo Connect that could take many years. As mentioned in the introduction by Volocopter CEO, the key to success in the urban air mobility market lies in the big cities. China has 19 out of the 100 biggest cities in the world. Moreover, more than 50% of these cities are in Asia. This is the reason why I believe Yang, being a Chinese company, has a big market advantage over Volocopter. I don't see how Volocopter could competitively enter the Chinese market. To develop these type of urban mobility networks is necessary to closely work with local authorities, and the Chinese government will choose Yang over any other foreign company. I make technology and market analysis on the new and exciting EVTOL revolution. See you in the next video.